So, hello everybody, and uh, yes, this is the moment that no one has been waiting for, especially me. Uh, this is the moment where I play Doki Doki Literature Club with an exclamation point. They needed to put that exclamation point on there, it's very important. Now, before we start, I need to say I'm a little bit concerned about this thing. Not, not for the fact that it's anime and not for the fact that there is reading involved, but I am scared because it is actually classified as a horror game. I saw the tags. Now, I have come up with five theories on why it is labeled a horror game, all right? So, uh, one, that the literature club is actually a front for a secret spy ring, likely monitoring our behavior for a government superpower. Uh, you know, if you went into the literature club and all there were were like four uh, girls hanging around, no guys, thought to join that club, you'd think something was up. Maybe it's a spy ring, okay? Uh, no, nothing is real. Uh, second one is that the game is completely different than it appears to be before you play it, having nothing to do with a literature club. Like, literally, when I start the game, everything changes right away. I have a feeling that that might happen, or that it has a lot of different things in it that I didn't plan on being in there, you know? Like, it, it does the whole bait and switcheroo, and that would be terrible. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? This is like the first game I didn't actually have to play. It's a reading simulator! I've heard of walking simulators! Just did a video on that. But a reading simulator, that's even better! Uh, third one is that the game focuses your attention and then scares you with a shocking image. Like that maze game with the woman screaming at you when you get to the center. Do you remember that from a couple of years ago? It was like you like have to stare really close, and when you get to the center of it, all of a sudden you see, and it like comes out at you, and it's really frightening. And you don't know why they did that, but then you realize, oh, it was, it was a stupid thing to make you look very closely. At the beginning of this whole thing, I said that there'd be a shock scare like when they make you stare really closely at the screen and then they show you a scary image. Yeah, I love you. Oh. A four is that the story has a ham-fisted moral lesson that tries to make you feel bad about yourself and the seemingly harmless choices you've made in the game. Boy, I hope that's not gonna happen. I know I could have prevented this. And then five is that the characters make you care about them in a deep and meaningful way right before tragedy ensues and everyone dies. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. Dare I? <laughs> it even makes a happy little agree sound. <laughs> I could just stand here all day. <laughs> oh, Siri. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Okay, fine. Oh, God. Okay, fine. I agree. Okay. Doki Doki Literature Club. Well, there's that musical. All over again. I was really praying that it wouldn't be the same. I wanted it to be different, but no such luck. It's exactly the same. Okay. Uh, new. Enter my name. My name is going to be Ash Ketchup. Uh, because you've known each other for so long. One second. I really need to do something. Yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna turn that, we're just gonna turn the music volume just down a little bit there, uh, so I don't want to throw my computer at a wall. That's what we're gonna do right there. Uh, okay. Nope, not good enough. We're gonna just have to... There we go. That's better. Just right down there. Yeah, sound volume, I don't know, but music, we're just gonna have to do that. Okay. I guess, along with the help of these four, we're gonna... We're gonna grow a literature club together. 
The stakes have never been lower. I never said I would join this club. You go, Ash Ketchup! You go! I said it! Now you said it. The game knew. Uh, okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Yay. Sayori, Natsuki. Uh, th thank you for giving me a little bit of a, of, of a, you know, a Cliff Notes version here. Yuri, and of course, Monica. Oh, of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Well, my history says no. No, you will not, but... Uh, Mark it on your calendar. I actually get to do something in Doki Doki Literature Club. What do I want? Of course, they finally give me a choice, and I don't know what to pick. Um, I am going to... Let's see, this is supposed to be a horror game, right? Somehow? It's supposed to be a horror game, I guess. So, I am going to pick the scariest word I can find. Oh, <gasps> marshmallow. There we go. Because I thought of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man for a second. Oh, dance. Dance is very scary. Just for the record. Especially if you can't dance. Boop! I hate getting my nose booped. Promise. Yes, I hate keeping promises. Ambient. Ambient is the scariest word because I do a lot of audio editing. And ambient noise is, is evil. Ah! Let me stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking anim animated feminine poses. Wow. This is like bookception. Because it's exceedingly mo. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Moving on! Yeah, I told you uh, that you weren't going to like it. Wow, you... I, you should get a job as a psychic. Uh, playground. Oh yeah, man. I knew a kid. He died on the playground. But of embarrassment. And it was me. The scariest word is sunset. Because who knows if the sun will ever come back up! I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Well, why don't we try and ghost it? <sighs> All of a sudden, I'm inside Sayori's head. Body switch time. It's a Freaky Friday moment. There's an image. All right, show me on the teddy bear. Uh-huh. This is so funny. No, it really isn't. It's just awkward and forward. And your hands are not in an appropriate region. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Sayori. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. I love the xylophone, like, solo. Everybody, we're gonna do a xylophone solo now for this. And the, the poem, oh god. Is... Mm, I have to do this like Mary Poppins. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders! Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her! Amy has a cute singing voice. 
I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. But wh what if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. <laughs> And I'm gonna tell everyone! Oh, how lovely! Boy. Nat, you really got issues, man. Not bad, right? <laughs> Quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. No, I need to know more of the thought process that you're putting into this. It's just warming up. Hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. Oh no, I expected so much more. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ha! Huh. Could be. How do you maintain that pose for an extended period of time? I'm a little teacup. Kind of. It's amazing. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. This should be the goth club. Okay, I don't know what this is going to be. But I'm going to just read it as Moxie Havoc. Because all of these sound like they could have been Sporadica if I just cleaned them up a bit. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaninglessness. Meaningless. Not meaninglessness. Load me. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. But you know what? Touche, game developer. I feel like that's a command. Like, I should hit the button. It's load? Okay. Anyway. Load me at the bottom. Um. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Load me. It's about a washing machine, I bet. Is it about a washing machine? It's even more abstract than... No, is it about a washing machine? I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a, a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. Like, because I'm pretty sure that that poem was about a washing machine. Like, a literal washing machine. Uh, I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words could totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. Boy, they all feel like writing is magic, isn't it? So is friendship. According to those ponies. Uh, Monica. Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone come else come up and recite poems too. Because the rules of Lit Club are, no one talks about Lit Club. Until everybody talks about Lit Club. Even if you're not even in it. And uh, a few late uh, additions uh, that uh, everyone is a shark. Uh, everyone is a ghost. Uh, or that there is a public speaking and that's the real horror of this. Because apparently it is indeed a psychological horror. A nibble. 
Because when I think of nibbling, I think of that scene from Jurassic Park when all those little dinosaurs went over the log and just started eating the guy. Scary, man. Force unrestrained. That was unleashed. My mistake. My mistake. But still, I'm gonna go with it. Alright. This time, I'm going to pick um, strawberry, because if you think about it, strawberry is the flavor that never gets enough attention in a Neapolitan ice cream. You know, it's always like, Sam, it's there with the vanilla and the chocolate, and everyone's always showing love for those two, and poor strawberry gets left out in the cold. You never want to be the strawberry in a Neapolitan ice cream. I gotta find words that she doesn't like. Um... Hi, Monica. What you doing? You hanging out? You having fun? Yeah, sounds pretty great. I, I apparently can't impress you with my poems, and it's driving me freaking insane. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Where's the piano? Was there a piano in this room the whole time? How did I not notice that? Ah ha 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 ha. Yeah, is it an invisible piano? You must have a lot of determination. I'm determined to figure out where the piano is in this room. I've been staring at this screen for the entire game. I have not seen one piano. Starting this club and now picking up piano. You can pick up a piano? Wow, it's like She-Hulk. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. I have passion for a piano that I previously don't remember you saying anything about until this very moment. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you! Oh, don't tell me the rest of them are here. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, oh, damn it. I was really hoping you were a figment of my imagination. Natsuki. Ah! I can't wait for the festival. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Hmm. Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Yes, it is. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. Because really, Monica, you look like a squid girl to me. Uh, I didn't say I don't like it. I'm just saying it's weird that you brought it up. A lot of tentacles. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? I mean, you're weird, Monica. What do you want from me? Oh my god. Because! <laughs> it's right in your name! mon -ika. What? Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. At least they acknowledged it. Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. Do you keep all of your books in this school closet? So you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Oh, I would love to. Do I get options? Please? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Ah, the chapter ended when Minori and Alice found Monica! Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. She's not inside the closet. Eh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry. My saving grace, Monica. Be still my heart. You have saved me from manga. Natsuki climbs onto the chair, then slowly balances onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. 
<laughs> While I'm at it, I might just take a quick video because this is going to be hilarious for Twitter later. Uh... Aha! There we go. That was, of course, the drawing they had to get into this game. You knew it was gonna come sometime. See? I can easily do it now. On the other hand, we finally get to see what's inside this closet. It's gray and boring. Yay! I'm not, I was just hyphen. I am a hyphen, a human hyphen. Oh no, her eyes went and did that thing again and she became a toothless vampire. Natsuki, don't try to move. Yeah, like you're moving way too much right now. Just give me the box. You perv. Natsuki, I'm in agreement. Ash Ketchup is a perv. You set me up! Did I? Still making that face, though. You hyphen you you dot dot dot. Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. <laughs> Something like that. She presses her arms straight into me to prop herself up. Eh? Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath me. No, it's probably me. Or this dude who I'm no longer associating myself with. <laughs> a fist pounds into my chest. Can she just not be here anymore, please? It's, it's gonna be a long class, I can tell that much. Hey! <laughs> she is back! Natsuki comes up and snatches the poem out of Monica's hand. Neither of us had noticed her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course, I liked it. Ah! You should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know? This is a literature club! Everyone's gonna read the poem! What did you think we were doing here? No, I just, I, I, I didn't, I brought the poem, not figuring anyone would read it. You have a bad habit of doing that. Yeah, just because she's the president of the club. She thought it would be nice to read the poems you're going to present for the big thing that you're doing, whatever that is. Huh? Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. That's so. I wish she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? You, so much for you two being all lovey-dovey. hate her so much. Uh, I already know what I'm do- I already know what I'm doing! I'm gonna be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Because... I'm a gullible person. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. <sighs> she again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. Am I gonna have to choose more words? We'll need about a, a hundred of them. <laughs> no! A hundred? Oh, yeah. 
I hate this game. What will those be used for? I don't know, driving me crazy. Ah, uh, I kept, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. And it's not awkward at all. She looks into my eyes and it's still not awkward at all. I like you so much that I want to die. Damn moral lesson, unexpected tragedy. And you know what? Everyone is a ghost. I'm putting a check next to everybody is a ghost, come to think of it. That too. Uh, non-committal, non-committal, you'll always be my dearest friend. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but... Please trust me that I know what's best, and what will make you happy in the end. See, I'm good at this. Gently open the door. I'm gonna say that's a shock scare. Unexpected tragedy is a chick. Mm -hmm. It's also a damn moral lesson. Oh, well, an exception has occurred. File, game script, back, trace back text for details. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. I don't think you can. I really don't think you can. Screw the literature club. Finally. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Feel good game of the year. Okay, what the hell is this? Am I in the Matrix? Is this just playing the game again? Okay, I'm gonna You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Well, damn if I don't want to read the poem. Let's do it. Uh... No, nothing... is real. Okay. Great. Nothing is real. Yeah, a uh, vitality, captive, empty, flower, incapable, smile, question, vivid, flower, sparkle, pain, melancholy, hair, peace, aura, milk, melody, fear, bunny, warm. Thought very, I thought very carefully about those choices. Do not judge me. If you don't take us seriously, then you won't end up seeing it. And she's standing in front of the text because she's Monica and she's just awesome. I'm in the Matrix. Or it's everyone's a ghost. Or everyone's a shark. I would be so happy if it was everyone was a shark. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. 
Remind me uh, to do an endorsement against literature clubs across the country. Because they are filled with some freaky people. I wasn't aware that you played... Did you talk about that earlier? I thought that uh, that was new information. Is playing piano the reason why this is all happening? I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still... Is piano like witchcraft? I'm still not really good yet, still. That might require a lot of dedication. I'm still impressed. Thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ha! Ah, Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I bet it will be the song that's playing. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. He's just trying to make me look bad. These girls are weird, man. She started it. No idea what's going on right now. I literally don't. I'm gonna keep hitting this button! I don't care how many times! Hi, Monica! Hi, Monica! I'm glad that we can have this alone time now. Um, hey. Why don't we step outside for a bit? Okay? Yeah, let's do that. I guess I don't really have a choice. I'm sorry for causing trouble. I just want to know what the resolution is. Who's evil? Just tell me who is evil. One of these people is evil at the end of this. Right? Yuri? Ah, she has cut herself. All right, so that happened. I'm not being weird, right? I'm not having a hard time than usual at concealing my emotions. It's kind of, I'm kind of embarrassed, but right now, I just want to read my poem too, okay? Yeah, let's read that. Wheel. My God, there's a lot of words here. And it's, uh, just so much going on here. I guess I'll read it. Uh, a rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head. Linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a... Uh, the riddle of the Sphinx, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes. There's an image. Did you notice that the little spot moves independently of the words? That's freaky. Did anyone notice that? Like the little, there's a little ink mark like over there on the side, but it's not in one place. It's wherever you are on the page. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. We're, we were uh, talking about like demonic symbols. Um... Uh, blah, 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 written in blood, uh, devouring snakes, thread connecting all living human eyes, kaleidoscope of holy stakes, uh, exponential gearbox, sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a uh, wheel rotating in six dimensions, that's a lot of dimensions. 40 gears, ticking clock, clock that ticks one second for each rotation of a planet, clock that ticks 40 times every second time. Bold head, holy six, high resistance, God, kaleidoscope, blah, 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 written in clocks. Time writing player connected to the sky, 40 gears, open human eyes in all directions, breathing gear, body, breathing bald head. Everything's breathing, and that's terrific. 
Ha! It doesn't really matter what it's about. Here's one I wrote. Oh, it's the same damn spider one. That's terrific. It's gross, and she's gross. Okay, well, at least Natsuki's consistently annoying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way that this turned out. Is this the one? Oh, see. Now I'm starting to see a pattern here, because remember in the last one, there was load me, and now it says delete her. And now, oh, let's just go through colors. They won't bright beauty. And now we're losing letters. Uh, expanding, piercing, red, green, an endless of meaningless noise. Noise is new. Cacophony. And there's some letters missing. Uh, it's just, uh, just out of curiosity, because I'm kind of curious. Uh, let's see. The letters that are missing. U-I-O-O-I-A-I-E. I don't think that. Uh, the noise, it won't stop. Violent grating with something. Squeaking, screeching, sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a knife. On a breathing rib cage. Thought that these girls might be a little screwed up. Endless of meaningless. Delete her. You're a little freaky, Monica. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Exercise your demons regularly. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Even when they're trying to, like, freak me out, I literally have no choices. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You have unlocked a special poem. Why not? Let's go crazy, baby. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. That's super funny. Hey! Sayori's my cursor now! Okay, everyone! We're all done reading each other's poems. Uh... We have something uh, we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in front of the... Is it about the festival? Sort of. It's not like we can put together anything good in a few days. Just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. That is a concern. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Gee, I wonder... <laughs> we didn't animate the blood in. I just had like a little thing. Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? Oh, so very much, Monica. But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Yeah, it is weird. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk with you about. Things I know only you could understand, which is why... Wait, not yet.
I wrote a billion words. Then why am I so happy you joined the literature club? Now we don't need to be alone anymore because we have each other every day. And that's all we need, you know. What? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for be around slimy tongue, not to mention the other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day from school. And uh, guess what? I just turned into Glenn Close. And read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect if everything we could ever want isn't... Isn't that why you joined that club in the first place? It's almost like fate. And now we get the happy ending. Monica, can you move? I'm trying to read the deranged rantings Yuri's given me. Uh, waited years for... I don't know who you... Yeah, Natsuki, are you crazy now too? This one's alright. Even though you're not really spending time, I think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. Just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully. Ugh, God, now her poems are annoying too. Alright. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read, and also that I don't have a face now. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. I've been trying! Read it. The spot doesn't move! That is a really good poem, though. Just for the record. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I don't even know what this is. Uh... I, yeah, sure, why not? Stare at the dot to reveal s No! No! You know why? Because this is how they get you! This is the thing! Oh my god! At the beginning of this whole thing, I said that there'd be a shock scare like when they make you stare really closely at the screen and then they show you a scary image. Yeah! I love you! Oh... Well, that wasn't shocking at all. Well, what, 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 but, well, there was a shock scare, really, when she came back on and she was all, like, crazy times. So I guess that's something. It wasn't going to do that thing where it jumped out at me and then the game's over? No, it's going to keep going, isn't it? Okay, everyone. Time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Oh, God, is it ever going to be over? Tell me you want to be... Milo, do I accept... Nope. Heh. <laughs> Yay! Solve the problem! I chose correctly! Didn't I? I chose correctly, right? Did I solve the puzzle? It was Yuri the whole time, right? It must have been. And I don't get zapped in bad on my thing. I solved the puzzle! It was in the writing, right? It was in the writing? I I don't I don't really know what to make of it. Can I skip through this part? I get that there's like there's a lot of this and there's a whole lot of wow. Wow, there's a lot of this. Thanks for coming by, folks. We're we're in Um Is there Yeah. Okay, so this is uh so, then the gate. Oh, it's blue! See, I would have thought that it would have gone from blue to red. 
It would have gone from blue to red if that were the case. Right? That would have been what happened. I love that the entire animation budget for this game was just the stabbing motion. Like, that was what we got to. Like, it's, you know, we're not, we're going to have still images for a lot of this, but we're going to make sure that the stabbing motion, we animate that, right? We got to do that. Our production budget is going to be in stabbing. She gets stabby sometimes. I don't, I don't know how long this goes. Oh, hey! All right, it's festival time! Wow, you got here before me. Yeah! What's wrong? Oh, that was a good one. I'm here. Did something happen? Natsuki ran past me. Oh. Oh. Ha! That's a shame. Were you here the entire weekend? Oh, jeez, I didn't realize the script was broken so that badly. I'm super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. Make that up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Remove character Yuri. Character Natsuki. Great, I'm almost done. Just want to have a cupcake real quick. And takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I just really, I, I, I just ha had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. The game developer is a wizard. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Is this working? Hi, Monica. Hey. You there? I just want to save this because I want to remember this forever. Oh. <laughs> hey, Alex, did you know that was a thing? There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Isn't that great? Okay. Return. Hey. There you are. Hi again. Welcome to the Literature Club. <laughs> Finally, there's a Monica! And there's all these versions of Monica. What happens if I just keep finding Monica? This is fun. I like this part. I'm sorry, Monica. They made me do it for the interest of entertainment value. Well, we're in the cold vacuum of space now. I guess that's it. Help me. Did you do this to me? I'm quirky. Sorry. Did you? Did you delete me? Yeah. I, I did delete you. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. You monsters made me do this to poor Monica. Everything. I loved you so much. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Eh. Watch me suffer. Were you only pretending to be kind? Just to hurt me even more? Kinda. Sorry. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Yeah, you kinda did. Maybe that's why you deleted me. I deleted you because you told me exactly what to do to delete you. I'm an idiot, so it took me a while, but you know. 
Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Yeah? I've made up my mind. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew you, they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. <laughs> There's one person. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Yes? Hey! I'm guessing I just go to new game, so let's see what happens when I go to new game. It's an ordinary day of school like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends groups rocking to school together. Uh, some girls are something... Hey, Sayori's not dead! Sweet! Hey, Ash Ketchup! I'm just gonna save this, just in case. Now that Monica's out of the picture, my one true love. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but now none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. You made me the happiest girl in the world. Can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. For... Ever... <laughs> eh? What's happening? Who? It hurts. Well, I finally thought I s knew what was going on. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Ash Ketchup. Goodbye, Literature Club. Okay. Yeah. Gee, is it the song? Who could have fucking predicted that? Oh wait, I did two hours ago. So basically it's like I'm living in GLaDOS. Is it weird that even though this is insane, it's kind of catchy? Oh, this is kind of like what Monica was saying. game fucking over yet I applaud its difference it was definitely uh this is my final goodbye to the literature club I finally understand the literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found to the very end it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany for the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, 
Ethnica. Script files missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. All right. Good enough. I just wanted to show everybody what's going on here because I think that this is kind of interesting. Um, but uh, as you can see right here on the screen, uh, we are having uh, that... Uh, oh, Monica deleted the game. Great. So happy uh, that, that, uh, that that happened. Uh, and oh, look. There's infinite me's. This is the greatest thing ever. Why did it take so long for us to get to the point where there's infinite me's? <laughs> um, all right. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for joining us on Doki Doki Literature Club, where uh, we have wound up with an infinite Nathan loop. And uh, I hope that this that this image finds you well. And I know that Monica will never leave you, but the other thing you have to really remember is that I will never leave you either. I'm going to stare at you, and the infinite amount of me will stare at you forever, too. Ooh, spooky. All right, everybody, I'm going to get out of here.